We've been in this business for over 100 years, concerned about America's heroes as they return home. Uh, we're very much involved in a new GI Bill. The VFW is very, very, very much involved in that process. And people will tell you, had it not been for the VFW, there would be no post-9-11 GI Bill. And we're very proud of that. But you know, if they can come home and get an education, but they can't find employment, what does it mean? The Veterans of Foreign Wars of the United States was formed on September 23rd, 1899 by Spanish-American war veterans. Today, it's the largest organization of combat veterans in the United States. Their mission is to, quote, be there, not just for the handshake and pat on the back, but to help veterans find jobs, to help them overcome whatever emotional scars they returned home with. This is our sacred duty, to pay it forward. It's our honor to be joined here at the Hiring America and Clorox Symposium in California by John Hamilton. John, thanks for joining us. It's nice to be here, thank you. Lots of people think of the VFW as an organization that only reaches older veterans from the Vietnam War or earlier, but that's not the case. Tell us how the organization is reaching younger vets who have served in Iraq and Afghanistan. Well, we're, we're obviously reaching out through whatever means and method we can, but particularly uh, through our publicity, uh, through our local posts. Uh, we work with Student Veterans of America on college campuses to reach out to these young folks and let them know that uh, we're here for them. We're here to make sure they get their entitlements and benefits and explain to them what, in fact, they're, they're entitled to. A lot of times they just don't know. John, what is the VFW doing for transitioning vets? Most of the major bases in America, we have uh, a service officer there, BDV sites at discharge, we call it. And they, at that point, they explain to uh, the veterans transitioning out of the military what their benefits and their rights and what they need to do. And they, in fact, at that point in time, will start the paperwork process online to represent those people to make sure they get what they're entitled to. What kind of services does the VFW offer? The number one thing is veteran service officers to help those young folks get their benefits, entitlements, disabilities, claims. We represent them all the way to the Board of Veteran Appeals. In fact, before the federal court should we have to, uh, free of charge. We have unmet needs to help people who have been out in the last six years that run into to difficult times to help them with, with uh, their, their immediate needs. Uh, we have Help a Hero Scholarship Program with Sport Clips where we uh, uh, give additional monies to, to young folks to go back to school. Of course, we have many programs in the communities. We have a Voice Moxie program. We own a National Home for Children in, in Michigan where we can send uh, uh, families and, and veterans that need to, to go through a, a time and a period of adjustment and education to get back on their feet. How is the VFW uniquely qualified to serve our ever-expanding veteran population? We have tremendous programs, tremendous leadership. Uh, we have a governance in place that uh, works well with our state, have veteran service officers around the country to help those that need it. We're trying to move uh, uh, into the 22nd century, you know, and, and make certain that we're here for America's heroes. Are enough vets taking advantage of these programs? Well, no, and that's, that's the challenge, mm -hmm. to make certain that the word gets out. You know, to get out of the military, to get a college education, whether or to go to trade school or you don't go to school. If you don't have a job, it all means nothing. It means nothing. And then we're talking about the suicide rate among veterans, 22 a day. If, if people are employed, they're busy, they're active, they're meeting their obligations, that rate will go down. It directly affects those things, there's no doubt in my mind. So we've got to, we've got to somehow get the word to the troops that we're here to help you. What's your advice to those watching who need that help today and are yeah. struggling? Pick up the phone, call your local VFW. Uh, get in touch with a, a service officer. You know, call our national headquarters if you need help. Uh, we're here to help you. We're here to provide those services. It's intimidating for an individual to try to go through that, work their self through that maze uh, called the Veterans Administration. And the fact of the matter is, if we represent you or another credible service organization, you're 70% more likely to be successful in your claim the first time you do it. 70% more likely, because we know what we're doing. We have the best trained service officers in the nation. I love the camaraderie that exists within the FW Post. What can younger vets gain from the wisdom that they receive from older vets? Support. Support. You know, it, it, uh, I, I often, you know, when I came back from Vietnam and wound up going to the VFW, my father was a VFW guy. I went down to the VFW and said, I should join, I probably should join, never thinking I'd ever get active in it. But like today, it takes time. People come home, they're going to school, they're trying to work, they're getting educated, so they're busy. But they'll come, and they are coming. We have seven women state commanders this year, seven. Uh, we're getting younger vets daily. And, 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 you know, they'll be running this thing. But the camaraderie, the support, I mean, you, whether you served in, in Vietnam or World War II or Iraq or Afghanistan, there's some commonality there. You know, they've seen combat, you've worn the uniform. 
even though the, the, the places are different, the stories are very, very, very similar. John, great seeing you. Thanks for joining us here hey, on Hiring America. It's nice to be here. Thank you so much.